Russian army can use the aircraft assembled in Belarus in military operations in Ukraine. During visit by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko to the Irkutsk aviation plant, he has shown the assembly of fighter aircraft for the Belarusian Air Force. This was brought to the attention of the monitoring project Belarusian Gayun on Telegram. The sign near the fuselage indicates that we are talking about the Su-30SM2, one of the most powerful Russian fighters, which belongs to the 4 generation. It is an improved version of the Su-30SM. The contract for the supply of the first Su-30SM to Belarus was signed in 2017 and in November 2019, four such aircraft were transferred to the 61st Fighter Air Base in Baranovichi. In total, it was planned to receive a squadron of 12 fighters, but the second batch of Su-30SM was delayed. Belarusian officials have repeatedly announced the supply of new aircraft, but this has not happened. Let us note that previously there was no official information about the transfer of Su-30SM2 fighters to Minsk, taking into account the delay in the transfer of the second batch of Su-30SM, we can expect that the first Su-30SM2 will be delivered in 2025 to 2026. According to open sources, the Su-30SM2 was equipped with new AL-41F1S engines from the Su-35S fighter with thrust vector control. Su-30SM2 received an upgraded radar. Some of the avionics were unified with the avionics of the Su-35S aircraft. The range of weapons was also expanded. Deliveries of the Su-30SM2 will radically strengthen the combat capability of the Belarusian Air Force, the basis of whose fighter aircraft is now the obsolete Soviet MiG-29. But it is not excluded that these warplanes can be used against the Ukrainian army in the future. Thus, the Russian army can use the aircraft assembled in Belarus in military operations in Ukraine. сказать товарищи пиздец полный у нас нефтик подорвали Нефтяной полыхает. Полыхает. 
мешает пиздец, блядь. Вышел на улицу, стою, снимаю. Бахало тут во все стороны летело. 